Hi, lovelies. So uh, today I've been trying to catch my <laughs> catch my thoughts as they come because they're coming so rapidly today. So I just have to I just have to get get off my chest what's landing on it today. And so if you see a lot of crazy random posts going on, just understand that uh, I'm getting a whole bunch of spiritual downloads that I got to get out. Um, and so I just wanted to talk about some things that I think is very, very important. This is definitely for the ladies, but gentlemen, you can definitely listen in and pay kind of close attention as to what you're, you're hearing and what you're getting ready to hear. Um, so I want to talk about something where I got kind of humbled. And I think a lot of ladies, we don't think about how you know, we have kind of big egos too, right? We got some egos. <laughs> we don't like to admit it, but we do. We got some egos. And I want to talk about one of the most hardest things that I had to do or deal with when I um, got a heartbreak. So this wasn't a heartbreak that you would think would be, hey, it's not a heartbreak that you would think... Um, was when I was young, but it was more or less I was middle age, and, and it was really hard for me. Um, it took years to actually get over it, but I'm glad that I'm able to talk about it now without feeling um, the sadness or whatever. But I wanted to let you guys know, a lot of times, you know, us ladies have a tendency to um, feel some type of way whenever you know, we're in competition or not per se competition, but there's another woman that maybe is in his cipher that he chooses rather than choosing you. Okay. And let me just tell you, that is the most hardest thing to get over because you're like, how did you pick her? And I'm fabulous. How did you pick this woman over me? I'm the closest person to you. Everybody in our in our circle says we belong together. I'm confused as how you didn't pick me. But you picked her instead. What the hell? You know, and we get real frustrated. We get mad. We get pissed off. I mean, you know. But oddly, when I went through this, more than once. But when I went through it the first time, because they always say the first cut is the deepest right so when I went through this the first time I was like oh this is a hard one this is a hard pill to swallow um I was like well I don't understand it it's confusing to me you guys don't really get along this and that and the third you guys aren't even culturally the same I mean I had all kinds of reasons why he shouldn't have picked her and should have picked me because of course I'm fabulous and she's not and all this other stuff but I don't know who this is for today because like I said, there's so many downloads coming to me today. I got to get it out. But anyway, ladies, if you're finding yourself in this situation or you find yourself like you're in competition with a, another woman or, you know, this man that you're deeply in love with or deeply in awe over or deeply want to be with chooses another person or another, another lady, don't take it personal, man. It's not about you or it's not about your lack because we can sit back and say he didn't choose me because he couldn't see my fabulous. He didn't choose me because, you know, she was tripping over herself to get seen or it could be all kinds of reasons. We're sitting back thinking that he chose her instead of us. Right. But I found out something and it really hit me like a freight train today because, you know, Often when I have things go through my soul, I remember back thinking, like, what the hell? I'm confused, right? But it's not, it wasn't for me to understand at the time. So, she was his reflection. No matter how much I wanted to have a hard time with that or understand that or even remotely wrap my my mind around she was his reflection 
And even if he cared about me and, and, and regretted it later and all those things happened. But at the end of the day, you saw yourself in her. Not in me. And I can't take that personally. No matter how fabulous I think I am. And trust me, ladies, we're good for that. We'll see him pick somebody else and be like, mm, that's a bad choice. That's a bad call. True, it might be. And she was. <laughs> but the reality was he saw himself inside her. Right? So I think everything that we go through is a lesson if it's not a blessing, right? My lesson with that was I cannot convince someone to be with me. Nobody can. It has to be the will of both parties desiring to be one or desiring to be in an intentional relationship or desiring to be in whatever relationship type they're in. It takes two to tango. So no matter how fabulous I think I am, or no matter how fabulous fabulous you think you are, hey, Aaron, I'm doing good. No matter how fabulous, fabulous you think you are, understand something. If he doesn't see himself, I'm sorry, if he doesn't see his reflection of himself in you, he's not gonna choose you. It's no, it's no disrespect. It's nothing ill or anything like that. It just may be he doesn't see himself inside you. And that's okay. But we get so caught up in, in the mind, see? We get so caught up in our jealous thoughts, which is, well, why'd you pick her? She's not even the right woman. She doesn't care about you like me. Da, 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 da. We go all down the list as, as, the, as the reason why he should be picking you instead of her. And really, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it does make you more humble. It does make you feel a different type of love for women that maybe took, on, took him on and he didn't choose you. So I don't know what kind of stuff he brought to the table for her to have to deal with. I don't. I don't know where he's at as far as in that dynamic as my man per se I don't know what he comes to the table with and what she has to deal with even to this day I don't know so I can't take it personally right I have to learn that through that to just hope and wish for the best for both of them because he didn't pick me so what it's okay I love him no less. Every now and then we'll chat, say hello. I've actually done a body work session on him. All those things. The love is not gone. But the love is what it is. It's just platonic love now. And that's fine. Trust me. It's fine. But it took me years to get here. It took me years to get here. And I thought to myself, my God. That was a heavy heartbreak. And understand something too. You know, we have soulmates. And he was he was my soulmate. I know that for a fact. But he wasn't here to be my my spouse or my live-in boyfriend or my boyfriend or whatever. He wasn't here for that. He was here to teach me the importance of how to love to a different degree. His purpose in my life was to shift me into becoming a better lover to my next significant other that I'm in a relationship with. I had to change my the way I love, man. I'm, you know, all the stuff I'm dropping today comes from the wisdom I went through. You think I didn't? You think I didn't know anything about how it feels to be hurt? How it feels to not be chosen by a man that you love? Man, come on! I've been through some. Uh, listen. I've been through it, but it, it's it's re, it, it's it's one thing to have been through it and had to go through it and things of that nature, but it's a whole nother thing when you can step back and say, "Oh, that's the lesson." Oh my God, that's the lesson I'm supposed to learn out of that. So it wasn't about her. 
It wasn't about him choosing her over me. That ain't had nothing to do with it. It wasn't about that at all. It wasn't about why did he pick her. They don't even get along really good. And he, we could have been together. It, it, that's irrelevant, right? I'm just thankful that I went through it to understand what love is now. I had to go through some challenges. I had to go through some changes. I had to make some choices. The reason why I'm creating these courses for loving better is because I went through the work to learn that loving someone is not always going to feel good. So that means that if I'm loving someone, I may have to correct them. I may have to challenge them. I may have to be angry and yell at them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Love isn't always flowers and roses. Sometimes we got to we got to prick them in the ass with thorns every now and then cuz they don't get it. Love is not just beauty. Love can be the ugly part too. Period. Point blank. And I had to learn how to love myself selflessly and understand that there's some things that I had to go through and grow through in order to give you guys the insight that I'm learning as we speak. All these downloads I got today, I mean, you see all the writings, I still got stuff that's just just dying to come out. And I got to sometimes have these days where I just got to just, just really just project out what I'm getting and what I'm, what I'm understanding. So you guys get it. We have to learn how to change the way we love. I talked about that earlier today. Are we loving from fear? I mean, are we? I love you, but uh, I don't trust you. Then you're not loving from love. You're loving from fear. I love you, but in order for us to be together, we have to be monogamous. That's not how it works. You evolve into monogamy. Some people don't bring the state of monogamous feelings in you. So not everybody you can be monogamous with. Just what it is. You see some couples that connect and they're just together. Period. You know those two go together. Just like when you put a puzzle together, you put the pieces together, you're like, oh, that matches. Oh, this piece goes here. Okay. And you know it just fits. That's how some relationships work. That's the same with monogamy. Monogamy is a state of being, is a state of mind, is the state of your relationship. On its own, naturally, it's not based upon what you say out your mouth. You just become monogamous, naturally. But we spend a lot of time policing in monogamous relationships. And that's not what they're for. You're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be, um, policing in relationships because as soon as you do all that policing you got somebody trying to figure out a way to get around the crimes oh she's gonna get me i'm gonna get in trouble for this so let me figure out a way how to come up with excuses let me figure out a way to get around this so she don't catch me why are we having cops and robbers played in relationships can we just be can we just evolve into a good, wholesome relationship? It's not about are we monogamous or not. It's just about us enjoying each other, relating, understanding, caring about each other. Truly caring. Are you caring if you're spending more time trying to dictate if they're being with someone else or not? Spending all these hours trying to critique where they've been, where they where they going, why have they called you? Who's this woman at work? I mean, all that stuff, man. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. And we have to elevate out of that. If we're not loving from a loving state, and love means I'm allowing you to be you. I'm allowing you to be in your excellence. Be it as it may. Other women may find your man to be fine and fabulous and sexy and delicious you gonna sit there and be upset or you gonna be like yeah and that's why i got him or what it's not always 
how we see things, but it's always how we take what we perceive and, 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 and then turn it around into our actions. I'm going to give you something that I think is powerful. You know Boris Cujo, one of the finest men on the, men on the planet. His wife says something powerful. She said, yes, ladies, he is as fine as he is when he wakes up in the morning, as what you do see on the pictures. I sat back and I said, now that's a woman that gets it. I know you want him. <laughs> Women got him all over Essence Magazine. He's all over the planet. Women desire him. Women have him in their head doing all kinds of stuff to him. But she's beautiful as well. Does she take it offense? Does she take offense to a woman wanting her handsome ass husband? No. She's like, girl, you right. He's fine as hell. That's why I'm with him. I'm no different. Yes, I'm beautiful, but I'm no different. Change the game, see. Because when you step outside of always trying to control, Boris couldn't Boris couldn't be doing what he's doing. Acting. Kissing on women <laughs> in movies. He couldn't do that if his wife was all like, you can't do that. I mean, uh-uh, no, you're not. She would be capping off his magnetism, capping off his paper, capping off his celebrity. Because of why? Because he's with you? But you know he's with you. Why waste, why put all that energy into that? Just allow him to be. And she's been doing that for years now. And got the finest man on the planet. Y'all better, y'all ladies better start paying attention. To these women that got the finest men on the planet, they don't have them. But look at Idris Elba's wife. We all die for him, right? Chocolate, handsome, intelligent, accent, all that. He got all that. And we're all like, whoo, I need me an Idris in my life, okay? But do understand, though, it comes with a price. And it comes with many other women wanting him just as much as you do, if not more. So ladies, learn to humble yourself. If you're not chosen, it is okay. It is all right. You're just not his reflection that he can see. And that's okay. No, no need to take it personally. You feel what I'm saying? We can't get all in a, you know, get our feelings all upset over stuff like this. It's life. Nobody told you that it's going to be fair, did they? <laughs> I remember I used to tell my dad stuff wasn't fair. He said, life ain't fair. I didn't get it then. I got it now. <laughs> so no matter how much you love it on that man, he may pick you, he may not. You able to handle that? And if you're not his reflection, it's okay. There's always room for someone else. Always remember that. Here you go, love. Thank you so much. Yep. You have a good day. Yep, take care. So, we can't take it personal. We can't be offended. Can't feel no type of way. Life is always full of change and always full of adventure, right? And just because, like I said, he didn't choose you, it doesn't mean you have to take it personally. It's okay. When that man that looks at you and sees his reflection, it's not forced. You don't have to make demands. He sees, he knows, and he will advance and promote you accordingly in his life. It's not hard. A lot of ladies being in these relationships talking about it's so hard. Girl, you're in the wrong relationship. Relationships are not hard. Not those that are supposed to be advancing on their own naturally. It's not hard. You feel what I'm saying? 
But we spent hours trying to figure out, well, I want to see it happen here. I want to see this go this way. I want to see this go that way. I want to have everything happen the way I want it to happen. Well, it's not the way life works, honey. And whoever needs to hear this, understand, I was that chick. I was upset. I wasn't chosen. It took me a while to get over it. But after I got over it, I let it go. But I didn't get the wisdom to today. Go figure, right? And you know, that scar is like a keloid on my soul. It don't hurt no more. It's still there, but it don't hurt. So that keloid that I have on the soul, I can rub against it. I don't feel no pain no more. But that keloid of a sore on my soul that I that that heartbreak took me through showed me something that I'll never ever forget. Stay humble. Don't think you all that just because you match a man or just because you match perfectly or just because you two are getting along great have great sex or whatever it is don't get too cocky don't get too beyond yourself to not think for half a second that just because you see him in your reflection that he sees the same he may just think of you as somebody that he cares about but may not see you as his reflection or the woman he wants to bring in to his life as a primary mate primary role a wife a living girlfriend and that's okay but we got to let things happen and evolve on their own stop trying to force everything man i was a manipulator man try to force everything i want to be married i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do to get get my ring i want to be married okay you got what you wanted but did you <laughs> i hope i'm helping somebody today man because uh again it's not easy but when you when you find your reflection he'll tell you you'll know you ain't gotta force it you ain't gotta demand him to be with you only and all that you ain't gotta do none of that understand this when you find your reflection and that man's looking back at you and sees himself he's gonna be like oh i'm i'm here and i'm not going nowhere like, oh okay that's all it takes but see, a lot of times we try to force stuff and we try to make stuff to be what we want it to be because it's what we want instead of allowing. Remember yesterday on my live and, and, and I was showing you guys how the water was flowing according to the way the water is flowing. It wasn't anything going up against the current to try to stop it. It just flowed. Nature teaches us a lot, don't it? So if we would just flow, we would stop trying to force things to be what we want it to be and just allow things to show us what it is it'll change everything man it'll change everything if we stop forcing it i hope i help somebody today make sure you share this video somebody's got to hear this i know it's for somebody because somebody is struggling with a heartbreak somebody's upset somebody's hurting Man, them heartbreaks don't feel good, man. They don't. But if I can give her just one extra day off of that heartbreak, then I'm doing my job. I'm telling you, man. Those heartbreaks hurt. And they and they and, and like I said, the first cut is the deepest. So that core, I mean that core cut, man, that's a deep hurt. And you're just bleeding out in the soul, man. That shit is not okay. It is very painful. But if we can sit back and say, hold on. I have a friend going through this or my sister's going through this or my brother has this going on with his life tag them let them know yes right Rolanda because and and Rolanda the thing is we try so hard to plan stuff and any any wedding planner will tell you no matter how hard we plan or try to make sure no mistakes happen. They happen. <laughs> Just what it is. You can plan all day and stuff goes wrong. It's human nature. 
I don't care how hard we try to make a man love us or make a man see us or do you am I am, am I gonna be chosen are you going to pick me we gotta let that go man it's not worth all that we just gotta say hey it's all cool it's all good but to be all the way honest it's better for us to just allow That doesn't mean that because we're allowing that we're waiting because that's our other mistake ladies we wait for somebody to see us. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no no you don't have to wait you don't have to wait for them to see you that's not necessary if they don't see you it's okay let them go in that dynamic in your mind that they're supposed to be this if they're not going to be that, don't sit around and wait for them to change their mind so you can finally have what you want. No. You're just not their reflection. Okay, I understand it. I get it. I'm going to move on and be okay. You got to get, I mean, our time is not limitless on the planet. We can't sit around and wait for somebody to pick us or choose us. No. That's simple stuff. Let it go. Let it go. Whatever's in your mind that you think you're supposed to be to him, let it go. No. And you don't have to wait on him either. Just understand, like I said, when the man that's your reflection and he sees himself in you, he shows up. There's no turning back, honey, baby. I hope you're ready. Because you're sitting around waiting on a man to finally pick you. No. Life's too damn short for that. And you want, a be you want a better love life? Then you got to get intentional with your love life. Take my course. Go ahead and enroll now. I got to Look, it's going to call. It's going to be called relationship design. Relationship design. Get over there and enroll now. Relationship design is going to help you to choose the person, better person for you, and, and to help you to design the relationship of your desire, not of your desire but of your needs and your and not just based upon your wants you have to start designing what you want in your love life we don't have to wait on somebody that's oxymoron to do that <laughs> no we got to start to think about what do we want what do we need put our wants on the back burner and first of all figure out what we need and then what's our deal breakers period Listen, I have a free course I'm getting ready to drop called Relationship Design. You've got to enroll now so you'll get the email when you know I start uploading those videos. This is stuff to help you build a better relationship. We don't have to wait on somebody to make a decision. We don't. We can make a decision based upon what we want, based upon who, who has the greatest potential based upon our prototype, our our partner prototype i'm going to show you how to do that you have a right to choose what you want you don't have to wait for the ups man to show up you don't you can already have in your mind what's acceptable you know what i mean so it's important so again, make sure you show, share this video and be sure to share. Either tag someone or share, the, or share this video. Like I said, enroll in the relationship design. I will definitely post in here the link so you guys can go ahead and enroll in it. Because once I post that video, you're going to have it to your, to your disposal. And you're going to know exactly when I'm going to help you to design the relationship of your choice all right so i'm out of here i'm gonna get me something to eat go back to work get off and be done with it for today um it's carla nicole i'm signing off guys best kept have a great day Bye.